Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Scientist channel. I'm Victor Hamza. So, I'm going to talk about uh, Mayor de Blasio of New York. It has just come out. Um, you might not be seeing this too much in the media, but that he has a security detail that he's issued and he used them inappropriately. So, what he was doing is he was trying to do a presidential bid a few years ago and guess what he went around the country using his uh, police force that he has his own private police force that he's assigned uh, by the government um, who are for the most part I could tell you um, good people um, that I know personally before I don't know the new guys but the guys before that um, were very good yeah I do know policemen um, and uh, I believe that for the most part, policemen are um, trying to do the right thing. Um, if they're ordered to do something, then they're going to do it. So they went around the United States uh, as his own private, uh, you know, uh, political bid, and they they followed him around. Um, also, he was going to, he was, uh, his daughter had to move, she had to move a futon, so they put in a police van, and they moved that for him, and uh, his son needed to be picked up somewhere and brought to, uh, I believe, a college, and they used the police as well. Now, I understand, um, you know, when you have these guys around you all the time, and I understand you say, hey, can you just do this for me? I got to do this, you know, or maybe you need to move something. I am not, like, bending the rules a little bit are okay to me. That would be fine, you know. Um, listen, if, if you need something moved, it's not a big deal. I mean, but if you're, if you're spent $320,000 on... Uh, on the police using them for, uh, you know, your own political um, presidential bid, and uh, you know that's that's not good. Now the police, sure, they want the extra hours, they want the extra time, so they might be going along with it too. Um, so there's a lot of you know um, mis misalignment uh, of funds there, and uh, it's unfortunate. Um, the one thing I could tell you when you're on the, um, that I know from talking to the police is uh, that you, when you're on a special detail like that, they know what they're doing and uh, they're always trying to get their extra hours and they're great guys, but you got to really watch it, okay? And, um, you know, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just torn that, you know, this is a bad you know, use of uh, funds, and it's it's just really bad. Um, and and it it's listen. There's other political people that have done a lot worse. Is this going to have any serious repercussions for uh, Mayor De Blasio? I don't think so. But um, just wanted to talk to you about it a little bit. Um, that it's certainly bad. And if I was in his position, Mayor de Blasio, I would have never done that in the first place. So uh, I think, you know, overall, it's dirty. Um, anyway, let's talk about the, uh, now the IRS, if you have, if you're, um, what they're pushing through is if you have $600 that came in and out of your bank account, they're going to be looking into you as a potential uh, terrorist. Um, which is insane is just another example of overreach by the government being that uh, Biden is not in his uh, you know really um, you know at the helm that all these different departments of the United States are now doing power grabs because they can because there is no oversight and it's really unfortunate that everybody's going to be labeled now domestic terrorist if you have money coming in and out and let's talk about that for a minute why would they want to do that um 
what's it really about? So it's about the uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, cryptocurrencies have gone up and uh, you know there is taxable monies being there and people might be taking the money out and putting it into the bank account. If it's more than $600, you're supposed to report it and that's the why they went to $600. Don't let them lie about it. Um, so they want to just tax the crap out of everybody, um, which is unfortunate. And I talked about the cryptos before in a video prior about how there wasn't a law about it. And then all of a sudden, miraculously, it, there was a law, so which is really bad in my opinion. Um, but anyway... Um, so now another thing I wanted to talk to you about really quick is now the federal government wants to do and they're pushing this through where it's gonna happen if you do a Google search they're going to look at you know the what you what you googled and to um, come and arrest you uh, sounds crazy um, but uh, what they're saying is well specifically if you somebody was a murder was murdered and you googled the murder victim's name and for instance the location which no one would know but the murderer and uh, you know like let's say a murder weapon that sh that person was killed with then they're looking for those specific items to link them to um, the murder you know suspect so that my friends is a slippery scope uh, slope and once you you know we have that on the books that's so totally allowed um, then you know there's gonna be overreach all over the place now uh, Edward Snowden came out as everyone knows years ago and said that this was basically happening already um, but this is just another way for them to put forward the proposition that it's going to be a matter of course so they're going to be using uh, you know Google for the federal government to look up actually what you're googling what you've been looking up um, so they already had that in place but now they're going to be uh, when you see the arrest coming um, you know that's what's going to be happening I there are some methodologies that I've uh, heard about where, uh, and I'm just saying this, that if you are saying something contrary to what certain people want to be said, then they could just go and implant into your computer kitty porn and then they would come and say hey we found kitty porn and now you go to jail so there's been that kind of a thing before and I I don't I don't look at kitty porn I don't like kitty porn uh, and I thank God every day that I'm not into that um, but what I'm using is that's an example it's super easy for somebody to take a little you know uh, a hard drive take a little uh, you know USB card put all this kitty port on it you go to somebody's computer say hey we s break into their home we suspect you of it and they drop it on the floor oh what's this I mean it, it is the easiest way to frame somebody you can imagine um, so it is a scary thing that these kind of things can occur uh, there's been that instances where they wanted to get rid of uh, certain people before and that's what they've used as what I've heard now do I have hard evidence no um, what I'm saying is that we need a lot of and and like I said for the beginning at the most part I don't believe this is happening uh, I believe the police guy uh, the police officers who would do this and the alphabet crew that's in charge of certain things I think they do a great job I just unfortunately you know at this point I am a civilian so I can talk about these kind of things and I think that these kind of things have to be really watched and regulated and all this government oversight is only going to lead to a uh, 
you know, more of socialism in the United States. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share. If you do enjoy this video and you want to give money, give money to charity. I always say I don't, uh, I'm not looking for money for my videos. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.